I think yeah. aliens came and uh, left us a message. <laughs> this, this totally wasn't me. I remember uh, we went over the prisoners being not left in prison or actually AIU being allowed to reprogram them to like their job or all, all of that. Yeah, yeah. And then I said, well, what's the limit? I mean, if you have a prisoner that's mentally has a mental disorder that keeps him basically committing a crime or has no choice in committing a crime yeah basically. what's the limit and what's basically when do we stop changing him well so the real question here is what's more preferable killing someone or changing their mind completely Technic isn't that killing them the, the, technically the same but the body <laughs> still carries on so i mean that that is the question we're asking there that that's that's the real thing i personally i think the the overwrite is better than the the death i i think there oh. is no limit i i think and, and i know this now leads me down a very slippery path to be put into like the same ledgers as other people who have certain views <laughs> <laughs> but i i think that that one in the vast majority of cases, it's better to reprogram than to just kill. Uh, yeah, so, but I see them both as the same. Especially if the person doesn't have any memory of being reprogrammed. Whilst, yes, a lot of resources have been put into that body, like making that body grow. Um, so yeah. it's we're not just killing a mental state when you stop a body. You stop this whole sort of inverse entropy prop thing that's been going on for for a little while um and that that's that's separate from the consciousness that inhabits it yes yeah, so, so we're back uh, we're having this uh, basically this argument in is a human the body or the mind well i mean it, it it's a combination of the both but the i think the personality is in the mind informed by the limitations of the body okay but then then i need to go back to the people uploading them to the server are they human or are they the same person that left the body they're the same person but they're no longer human yeah okay they're no longer human <laughs> but they're the same person yeah well i mean they're not like i am this individual i am a copy of that individual you know mm. who for if if that original individual was broken down in the scanning process for all yeah. intents and purposes they are the same individual but we all know that's not strictly strictly true. <laughs> 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 the one thing that both agree is that we will never step in a teleport <laughs> well, I, I will step in a teleport if my ship is on fire and it's the only way to save myself or the thing that steps out the other side because that's preferable much like much like having the brain erased and put it, that's preferable to death so even though it is death it kind of isn't but it kind of is I, yeah 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 no it's horrible right that is horrible but it's if that is the only way i would rather step in the teleporter than burn to death in orbit so you're telling me you would rather commit suicide than slowly suffer? Yes, yeah, I would rather commit suicide than let something else kill me. Uh, <laughs> Is that not the human way? I'm not going to let you kill me. I'll kill me. <laughs> 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 The biggest problem I have currently is that I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, that's, <laughs> that's that's what all these conversations are uh, intended to do, right? My existence will end no matter what the choice is, but I still think I would prefer to keep my integrity. Yeah, as a human being. Right. Okay. Okay. I I I slightly disagree with that one, but yeah, I, it, I mean, I, I think I disagree with the term integrity more than anything. But yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's. It, I think it's falling more on the basis of me being extremely stubborn. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I know I'm gonna die, but I'm not gonna let the other person on the end say it's me. Oh, but the thing is, like, the person saying that right now will have the same or will the the bundle of experiences and impulses that lead you to say that now will walk out of the other side but it's not me but it's not you but it's still got the same so the one who walks out the other side will go i know i'm not the original yeah 
but I suppose it will do. Should we then be, <laughs> should we force the teleportee to change the name? No, 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 not at all, not at all. I, 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 I think we should allow whatever is going to naturally happen on the other side to happen. Like okay, if he comes but- out going, "I am the original," and then the person who was involved in the teleporter accident that didn't get broken down on the <laughs> on the first side could be like, "No, no, no, I am the original, and I can prove it." Like that's. <laughs> My thing is that I'm so stubborn. I think if I ever teleport, I on the other side I would demand other people calling me the name I chose at that moment. Yeah, it's like I am no longer Twitchy. I walked in Twitchy. I am now Scrapper. The previous me was on the other side. Uh, yeah. Now I'm a different and person. Now I'm a different. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Z 2.0 now. Call me that, and we'll be fine. So, um, shall we do an intro and then I'll cut that out and put that at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.15. After a, a morning of thoroughly confusing my science officer. Hello, science officer Z Tech, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> we Hello, are Captain. on Factorkio, and I believe we've been visited by aliens. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this right here. They, they have left us. St- Pure signs of what we're supposed to be doing here. We are <laughs> definitely supposed to be making stone. Of course, with our normal brand of philosophical ramblings, because we've been left on this planet for far too long. We've only got each other to talk to now. Uh, it's <laughs> man, that that's. That, I feel I feel most sorry for you. You've got to sit here and just listen <laughs> listen to my incessant ramblings going on and on and on and on. Uh, so I notice over this side. We got the iron train very nicely emptying out. Does this have anything on it? If I press Alt, people can see what's going on. I'm going to pick these up because they're no longer relevant. Uh, and that's emptying out quite well. And we've also got a little filter for the stone here. But as you pointed out, I think it was last episode, maybe the episode before, if we have a stone train and an iron train, they're all going to get properly jammed up in this single place here. We need to yeah. figure out a proper way of going in and out. And I think you were starting to set up for iron to be on this side and then stone to be on this side, was it? I was thinking of something like that, but I'm not sure. Because mm. I feel like we can take the iron out this way and feed it into the end of these conveyors a lot easier than we could get stone doing something meaningful over this way because all, uh, all the factory is over here at the moment. So do we have the... The station set up because like the the reason that i'm pushing uh, that the aliens that the aliens are pushing for the stone <laughs> excuse me uh <laughs> it, it's very much because we've got a corner of a wall and yes. we, we don't really have much more going than that that there are even biter compounds inside the area that we had laid out to have as wall so um I, yeah I, I think i think our defenses have been generally quite lacking and as casually I've had a game fail because of that in this week. <laughs> um, I, oh. I feel like we need to get on it. <laughs> yeah, I was just game. building... A, a, g- yes, game. A, uh, an experience, as we call them nowadays. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was building it away in an alternate reality, in a simulation, in a simulation of this reality. Uh, okay. And I had got, I got about this far, actually, uh, without building enough walls or turrets of defences. And, and what do you know... The simulation somehow, for for some inexplicable reason, decided that all their natives were going to be hostile, uh, and they came along and wrecked up all my shizzle, uh, and that that wasn't great. I do want to suggest that we first fortify our uh, iron uh, outpost, the train. Station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I'm I'm totally with that, but we still need stone. Stone. Yeah. I'm gonna cross this line, even though. Oop. A train might be coming. Watch me take my take my own life in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous. We still have a car. We do still have a car. It's down this way by the trees. Just just to be super useful. The stone I think is actually ready for being mined and sent here. I think the only thing we're missing is actually a train. The actual train. Do it where and the offload point, of course. Yeah. Yeah, this is completely ready. This is indeed completely ready. Nice. Okay, so let's make a train. I think we were automating the train production last time. I am inclined to agree with that. I, I think I remember that. Is there a way through up here? There's noise there. About a mammoth conveyor factory. <laughs> so engines, locomotives, and cargo wagons. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think we're ready. And we have the engines and all of that, so... 
Yeah. yeah. Did you but did you grab some locos? Uh, we need two of them and uh, uh, how many wagons? I think three wagons. I know, I'm just gonna always carry a few on me. You never know when they're gonna be useful. <laughs> So, so we do need it for uh, actually I don't know what I mean paving the entire planet I guess paving the planet putting a wall around it uh, we yeah. also need it for furni everything that furnaces build you know things like boilers and engines now here's a question should we boop, move it boop. just a slightly more yes yes I, d I think I think so. that's a good idea we should definitely spread it all out these here Signaling is a black magic. I'm not sure how it works, but I'm gonna say I know what I'm doing. Well, as long as it actually functions at the end, that's good enough, you know? That's the thing, so... We technically don't need these. What, the signals? Here. Uh, can you get the signal, please? Or is there a signal? No, there? you can chop down trees, that's it. <laughs> we don't need this, because this train will never go to that station, ever. Will it not? No, it's an iron sta- uh, this is an iron station. This is gonna be the stone station. Yeah, but how, how do the trains know that? Other than- other than their orders, which don't- which is not how, like, block signalling works. Because the, the train is- only one train is allowed in any one section at any one time, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we do need that Definitely signal, need then. these here, yeah. But then that's it. That should be, then be it. Yeah. I think. I, I believe so as well. I'm sure people will tell us why we're wrong. People? <laughs> yeah, people. You know, people. The, the the overseers. The people who we submit these captain's logs to to make sure that we are following regulations and such uh, forth. Can I not place it on the other side? You can name this station whatever you want. Mm, some, something to do with stone being incoming. Uh, stoning? <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, we got, we got, we got to come up with. No, I mean, stone in is a very like descriptive thing, right? <laughs> we'll go with yellow because that's what color stone is, right? <laughs> uh, technically, on the map, you are correct. Perhaps a little bit too gr too yellow, but there we go. Nice. Uh, inventory empty. Okay, and go to add station. What did we uh, call the other station, actually? The the stone one, it's Bromok, obviously. I mean, like, Bromok. Why would that not be? <laughs> well, there it goes. Away. Now, here's the question. Should we attach it here, or should we just move this entire thing in the middle? Uh, I think we probably should move this entire thing in the middle here. Oh, yeah, we were test seeing... Which one is better? This I is think we actually found out that they were about the same. But then again, look, uh, this one has both Double, of them. Yeah, and this one Th doesn't. This one doesn't. Mm. Decisions. All right, uh, make make the call. Which one do you like more? I think this is fine. Yep, I'll this go with that. Yep, works well. Works well. So then we want to bring them together into an input. Brilliant. Uh, we are almost done with researching flights. Awesome. As we get our way into the Stone Age, we can start work on aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a great idea. All right, and then this goes across to the stone holding area where we need to figure out what it is we're actually doing with stone at some point. I'm guessing you're smelting it into bricks. I will be smelting it into bricks and then turning those bricks into wool. And that's flight coming in. Nice. Do we have any sort of... I don't know, what I do we want to go with next? Construction robots. Alright, do it. Do it. Small confession, never got this far into the technology tree oh. before. So you see your blueprints? My bloops, yeah. yes. Just imagine that actually being assembled when you put down the bullpen. Ah, uh, that would be so good. I'll have my own little my own little team of minions. I'm just like, <laughs> do this, and they're like, okay, I will do that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, and he doesn't complain about worker conditions. Worker ethics. Uh, yeah, work, working conditions. I mean, wh when's their bank, bank holiday? That's a question. <laughs> when do they get time off? They're robots. They don't get time off. <laughs> do we have a holiday 
honoring the robots. Do we have construction robot day? I hereby no. declare today <laughs> and every day of this date going forward, robot construction day. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> wait, wait. Every day is robot construction. Uh, every day with this date moving forwards. <laughs> what, so whatever. When do they work? Sorry? When do they work? What? what how how, how uh, ungrateful are you? When do they work? <laughs> they, sir, really, they have done nothing but work their entire short life for you, and you're asking when they do more. Ah, I am outraged. outraged. They haven't worked a single second. <laughs> they don't exist yet. <laughs> The potentially they have done a lot of work. <laughs> potential. What is the stone train? Where is the stone train? Is it taking a while to fill no up? No path. No path. No path. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> we definitely need to get some um, radar down that way as well. I'm going to grab a couple of radar before I jump in the train, uh, the car, and go see what's wrong. Actually, do I have radar? I do have radar on me. I keep doing this. I keep walking away when I've already got the things. No, I'm gonna say it's because these lights don't... Yeah, it's these lights. Okay, I'm just gonna go uh, throw down some radar. I'll be back. Okay. I uh, managed to not run into the pylon this time. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> the train is coming, be careful. Yeah, I'm off the track. Yeah. I would suggest putting a single radar in the middle of... Of this bit, this roundabout. What yeah. a great idea. Oh, back up. Don't don't park on the train tracks. <laughs> as fun as that would be. That's outside power. Train is being unloaded. Okay, there's Stone that one. Is being processed. And being transported to the holding area, I guess. Wonderful. At which point I will come and put a smelting array in place. Oh, yes, I would suggest basically duplicating what we have for iron. Yeah. Not at that scale, but yeah. Yeah, not not quite as many, but definitely like one of those units. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow, it gets a little busy down this way. <laughs> Car's going to need repairs when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we well, go. Yeah, just one would be probably enough. Oh my, but there's so many things we can... That's already damaged. How did you manage to damage it? <laughs> Literally as placed. Uh, oh, I can't fix it from inside the car. It's a little unfortunate. Nope. Okay, I fi fixed the car as well whilst I was here. Oh, I need to clear out this 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 tree area here. Or woods, this... as we call them. <laughs> <laughs> this, this area of high-density trees. Yeah. Okay, that's... so the trains can come and go as they please now? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I have immediately been proven wrong that we do need all of those single lights by actually train saying no, there's no path. <laughs> yeah, yeah, classic, classic. Okay, so um, I think I might want to actually just take these down, put an underground going under, and then we'll make some mixed belts to take off. We'll have a, like a stone, almost like a stone bus all on its own, and then we'll pull the stone off and mix it with the coal as and when it's necessary. Okay. I think, I think that's the way I want to do it anyway. Biggity bam! All right. Uh, I need. Um, do I not have a smelting array blueprint on me? Uh, do you have actual? Oh, do we actually have? We do. We do have some. Oh, uh, we have a lot of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna these. steal this one. Is this? Is that the way I want to do it? Is that the way I want to do it? That's not the way I want to do it. The problem is we've got an in like two inputs or two output lines depending on how we want to. Yeah. Arrange them, and I'm not sure which one I want to steal. Or we could just put them down manually. That, that would also work. If we, even if you do place some blueprint, you're still gonna be placing them manually. Oh yeah, yeah. We're not we're not quite there yet. <laughs> <are we? laughs> not quite there yet. We are now but, there. Yeah, there's construction robots though. Though I believe we need to construct the construction robots. Uh, we just need to start producing batteries that require sulfur, that require oil production and all of that. Oh, the things we've been putting off? Oh no! What are you talking about? <laughs> we haven't been putting off anything like that. Oh, well, I'm sure we will nail it at some point. It's okay, just... there we go. Bricks are being made. So, next question is also... Where are we making the walls? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we seem to get into factory pretty quickly here, so maybe we could just make a factory, uh, a wool factory here. Is there anything else we actually need stone brick for? 
Uh, furnaces. Uh, the... So we need to make wool, steel furnace, and have room for concrete. Though maybe concrete will be its own little place all on its own. Because there's like four or five different concretes to do. So we just want to do the wall and some furnaces. Okay, I've been putting this off for the long time. So I think it's time we also started the oil. You but think uh, it's time we started? Oh, wow, brave man. I'm just going to grab a couple of these. <laughs> oil, yeah, oil pretty much has to go like all the way up here, right? Yep. We, we will start pumping out from this area and then move up. Okay, so... Uh, the, wow, wow, look at you. This is how you take down. Wait, 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 I need some wood. <laughs> <laughs> you appear to have taken up the damage science officer. Can yeah. I, can I feed you? I. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Uh, I don't know if I'm feeding you or just giving you the fish. <laughs> uh, the fish is not in my inventory, but I think you ate it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, cool. So I now have a nice steady stream of stone brick coming out. It's amazing how I can't set uh, the crude oil on fire. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's that's a bit weird. We should definitely be able to like set these things on fire if we want, if, if we so choose to destroy the world. Or setting the, the entire coal patch on fire. That would be disastrous. <laughs> I'm amusing. It would be slightly amusing. Ah, oh, I forgot that we would also want to have some gates being made. Gates might very well be the thing. I was literally just going to make a single box making wool. And now I'm like, hmm, is that actually what I want? Science officer! Science officer, come and look at the factory I made! Such <laughs> such extensiveness. I have done such, a, such an efficient job here. You can see the exact number of bricks that come out here. May or may not be enough to feed the wool. And we're going to make as much wool as possible. Woo! But I've got to say, with that, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. We have had a wonderful time trying to sort out the stone. I've had a wonderful time. You had a wonderful time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one, wonderful time sorting out stone. You can see that we are uh, full on the wall production, so I'll be able to go around and build the defences. Flamethrowers got researched, so we're going to be working on making fuel for that next time, I believe. I guess, yes. But until then, Captain's Log. Signing off. <laughs>